Okay, so this is going to be a shout out video for Beth the Builder. She's another YouTube creator. She's uh, getting into chainsaw carvings. I know she likes to carve the owls. So um, I'm going to make this uh, video for Beth the Builder. Um, the chainsaw that she uses, she, she can't really afford a more expensive one right now. So she just got a little electric one that cost her under $100. Doesn't have a carving bar on it or anything. And she's carved some bears. She's carved some owls. I think she might have even done a wood spirit, but maybe that was with not with the chainsaw. I'm not too sure. But uh, here's some clips of her videos on YouTube. She's uh, I find her pretty entertaining. So here you go. Then guess. Are they? Are you sure? I'll just put this here for you to look at and consider. Okay. So anyway, it's too political, Beth. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. So. Keep liking, watching, subscribing. Okay, so Beth, um, I'm going to show, like... I'm just going to carve an owl like you carve it. It's going to be like a straight-faced owl, and the wings are going to be on the side. This, I'm going to call this a silly little owl. Just carve Rob. I don't know. We call them fluff owls or something. We'll see if it turns out to be a fluff owl. But here's some models. It'll be kind of more like this one here. But I'm going to sh show you. And you don't. <clears throat> I'm just. This is just my suggestions that I've learned from Ryan Cook about the head, how to shape the head so it's not so flat-faced. I'm not saying that your last owl was flat face. I thought it was awesome, and you could totally see it was an owl. So, anyways, uh, safety gear, you know, your glass, safety glasses, uh, ear protection. I got my chainsaw pants on today because I got my bigger 034 saw with a, I think this is a 24-inch cannon bar. And um, did I say ear protection? I don't know. But, uh, so, this is going to be an owl kind of like this. I'd say, see this guy's face is over the wing. He's looking sideways. I'm not going to do that today. Uh, Why well, we call it silly fluff owl because that's how I made my first owls, just kind of like this. So, you know, it's just going to be a fat, a fat owl with its wings on its side, like a chicken kind of thing, you know. Like, anyway, so I'm going to crank my music. Actually, no, I got to draw the owl on first. Okay, I don't know if I, any of you guys seen the first video of this, but this is a piece of wood I got uh, yesterday. Um, from my buddy it's um i thought it was red cedar but it's not it's friggin yellow cedar i don't like carving yellow cedar because it cracks lots and also it's a lot way harder than red cedar and it's it has a smell to it it smells awesome but it's very pung pungent in the lungs so you got to be careful so i got my dust mask here i got the trend airflow it sucks in air it's got fans in it so i'll be wearing this basically all of today so the first tip I got for any of you guys doing carve any type of carvings, if you got a fresh piece of wood that was just cut down, say in your neighbor's place, let it sit outside for a week or two, couple weeks. You'll see the center of the wood like right here. You can see how cracked this one is. But if you got a fresh one, let it sit for a day or two or a month or a couple months. It's still going to be wet, right? But then this center might start cracking and you might get a little crack this way. So then that way, at least you'll know the way the cracks can extend out, right? So let it sit for a bit first. So when I look at this log, I think it's pretty dry. I got to, like, there's cracks everywhere. They go all the directions. So, you know, you can even see here, this is tight grain stuff. But you can see they even go this way, right? They go this way and then this way. So I look for the biggest piece that doesn't uh, have a crack like along the face. So I think it would probably have to be right here. So this section. But then again, what do I know? So I'm going to rotate this log and turn this so this part is the front of the owl's face. Okay, I'll do that off screen. Did I say this uh, was two feet wide by four feet, uh, five inches tall? So, with this one, I think we're pretty well screwed because there's cracks everywhere. So, 
This is going to be a crack owl. That's what we'll call it, a, a fluff crack owl. Not like a crack head, but a crack owl, because there's just cracks everywhere. Don't care. It is what it is. You know, I'm not expecting to make a real life, realistic looking owl. You know what I mean? Uh, this owl might even, uh, this owl might even be, um, this is what a piggy bank on oh, is a piggy bank. There's a little slot in there. But, um, yeah, so, um, I might even donate this to Spirit Trails. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Keep your chain sharp, people. Keep your chain sharp. And if you didn't, um, if you haven't subscribed to Beth the Builder yet, I'm going to leave her YouTube channel in the descriptions below. So you'll see a little arrow, arrow on the right. Click that. You'll see a, uh, I'll write Beth the Builder's YouTube channel. Click that link and uh, subscribe to her channel, please. Let's get her some uh, more subscribers there. Please. Thanks, bye. So it's been a long time since I've carved an owl with the wings on the side. So I think basically once again, have your center line, right? Oh, this is a big cut. Your center line. And uh, so there will be its head. I don't know. I don't know. So basically I want to shape out the owl first. That's what Ryan Cook taught me. Make sure you got the shape that you want first. Then you can start putting the details in. So let's see here. These lines. Okay, so you got these lines up here. So this is your headline, okay? And you got a line here. What I think I'm going to do first is this line right here. I'm going to cut it. Get rid of that hole. Get rid of this whole wedge here. Take the, So it gives you like a, a slanted back owl, right? So his head will be up here. Let me see. Come on, you son of a... So you see this line here, right? Then I'm going to cut it and cut that whole wedge out. So then you get a nice slant on the back of the owl. It is a beautiful fall day here. It's pretty warm still. So um, there's the back cut. I could have taken a bit more over this way, but I want this to be a big fat owl, so I really don't care. One thing about this yellow cedar, I will say, you guys will see how yellow it is now. This stuff, when you sand this stuff, it can sand so nice so it looks like ivory. Yeah, it sure does. So. That's um, but it's a pretty hard wood compared to the red cedar. So now let's um, where's my marker? The head, the head should might be a little bit smaller than the body. Oh, I already got my head marks there. So let's see if I can get a bigger angle on this. Another thing too, Beth, it's just suggestions that I've learned over the years. So there will be my head. You know, if you got a piece of wood from that place that you get it from where, you know, where they do this, the, they take the wood, your community takes the wood there and then they get rid of it. And if you get a piece of wood from there, you don't know what kind of wood it is. Just take a picture of the bark and um, there's an app that, you know, will let you take a picture and it will tell you what type of tree it is. Tell you, tell you do more carving and you, you know, you, the more you do like your rock collection. The more you do, the more that you're going to know, right, what it is. Obviously, duh. So there's going to be his head. So um, maybe I should get some spray paint and spray this on. Because I want him to look fat. Okay, so there's his head. You know, if you want to give extra, like, wings up, you know how owls have those ear things? Like a, a great horned owl. If you want to make bigger ear things like on the top, just make his head bigger. So let's see the proportionate. I'm going to make his head t taller, right? Like I'll, I'll stop cutting down here. So I can give him big wings up top his head. Where's the spray paint? We use a different color spray paint. So 
I hate using my pumpkin orange, but so there, because now, anyways, I'm going to cut out on the outside here. So what I do is I get my bar and I cut down here and then I switch the angle to where the wings are and I kind of round it out, right? You kind of just cut straight down. Let me see here. Pretend this is your bar straight down. Okay. Then when you get to your line here, then you curve it out and turn, whatever. I'll just cut it. Okay, so you can see here I kind of made a shit show out of that because, well, this one's like this one comes out more and this one's straighter down. Who cares? It's about the so I had the chance to clean up the wood too when I was doing that, right? So, and I don't care too much about this piece because all the cracks and I'm not filling these cracks and making it look perfect. It is what it is, right? So, now the back piece, the back. So, this is shaping. So, now you got these edges here right so there's your back slope so now i'm going to get my chainsaw and i'm going to go like this actually what am i going to do here <laughs> i don't know what i'm going to do well i'm going to make this i'm going to round this off right so using this saw my old three four with this hard wood i gotta sharpen my chain again already it's just it dulls this it dulls the chain it is what it is you got to keep your chain sharp or you're going to have a bad day so I want to round this back off, okay? So what I'll do here is like a wedge. I don't know if this is a wedge cut, but I'm going to cut here and then there and then get rid of the wood here to get rid of this, um, you know, make it more freaking round. Okay, so my bigger saw stopped running. I think I flooded it. So I had to switch to my smaller saw, which really sucked because this is a big piece of wood. So you can see it's kind of getting shaped now. I don't know what, I don't care. I'm not a professional owl carver. Maybe I'm doing this whole thing wrong. Um, but it's going to look like an owl in the end. I don't know if it's going to be the whole log, but you can kind of see like his wings are back. I'm going to give him full wings. Screw it. His wings are back here, then a tail, then maybe he's sitting on rocks or whatever. Who cares? Just, you know, just keep on working on your shapes. That's the most important thing, I, I think, for owls. So now this next part, we're going to, these, I think this might be the most important thing Ryan showed me for owl that really upgraded my owl game. And for the beginning owl carvers, this is how you can make it so your owl's face is not so flat. Okay, so here's the front of your owl. Kind of looks like a bowling pin right now, but anyways. So your center line, all right? Your center line's in there. So what I'm going to do now is, let's see here. Because I want to have the big top wing ears. doesn't matter. So, and these cracks might really screw this carving up, but don't care. So I'm going to go like this. See that cut? And this. So when I do these cuts, and this is my blade, I'm going to cut this and swoosh it out like that. I'm not just going to cut straight down all the way. I'm going to cut it and turn it. So like, whoosh. then that's a good way to get your uh, beak to stick off. For, so here's going to be your beak. So now automatically your beak's going to stick the farthest off the face. And then... Your eyes will be in here somewhere, right? So since this wood here on the outside of the wood is usually not very good, I'm going to start my cuts in here more. So that way when I get to the beak, it's more soil wood inside here, right? So all this wood here is going to be gone. And then I'm going to have soil, weak soil, soil wood inside here because, all the, like I said, all this wood's going to be gone. Then you don't have to worry about your beak breaking off or something. It might even take it in a little bit farther. 
Okay, so I'm going to do that cut, swoosh cut, and um, I don't know if I'll, oh, I'll show you doing me doing one. Anyways, first, so I make sure that there's no mistakes. I'm going to cut this block of wood out here, get rid of the face, and then I can take it back to the beak mark. Okay, so all this, about that thick, I'm just going to take it off. <coughs> Okay, sorry about that. I think it stopped filming. So now you can look up above. Okay, so there's where your beak's going to be. Push your eyes back. So now also Ryan taught me. I don't know. Another thing too. I don't know if I'm remembering this 100%. But so you could put a line here. Right? Then you, you cut this out like this. I think. Yep, that's right, because then you're, <laughs> I don't know if I should have done this cut first, but yeah, so that's that, that's that, I think maybe it's too much I got there. That comes off there, that's right, then your beak will come and you push your eyes back, put your center line back on. Sorry, I hope I'm not confusing you guys, but so this is too big, but I'm going to do a wedge cut right out here, take this off. Sorry, I don't even think I was filming when I did that. So now, I don't know if I did that backwards. Anyways, just do what you want. Who gives a shit, right? So, Dar, central line back on. So, let's see. Our wings. Oh, boy. So, our beak's going to be here. Remember we want to have a remember we want to have a big wings on the top so this is what I'm going to do This this will be our eyes in here okay But you can see how the face isn't so flat Okay So what I'm going to do is this I'm going to get this face carved in I'm going to pull out my little 2511 beak. That's good. There's no cracks where the beak is. And you can make, you can give this any kind of shape you want here, right? Make it go, make it go down on the side. You can make it come up on the side. Try and make both sides the same. So I'm going to pull out my little echo saw. I'm going to cut this true to the line. Then I'm going to remove some of this wood, okay? And then we'll work on the top. Maybe I should just do a quick time lapse. Probably, yeah. So I'm going to get this beak to be exposed more. So, I know it looks funny right now. It uh, looks kind of like a, I shouldn't say Russian, but uh, one of those cold caps. That's why I left so much room in the top. Because now I can do, I can I can make this top come out here if I want. Like, like I'm, I'm trying to think of Uncle Kevin's carvings because he does fantasy owls. How I want to make the top or do I want it to come in here and swoosh out. You know, it's your piece. You can do what you want. And I really don't care how this turns out. I, that's what I said once I, you know, that's why I got this log yesterday. just want to carve an owl and just a big fat owl and don't really care how it turns out. I'm not going to spend too much time on this piece. 
So now I got a process. Now I got a process how I want to make the top. So your eyes are pretty simple. You can do any kind of eyes you want to do. You know, is this thing still filming? I don't care how long this video is because how's anybody going to learn? I'm learning right now too. So your eyes can be right here, you know. Then your wings can be right here. You know, you just got to keep pushing back. Pushing back means like uh, carving deeper, right? So how am I going to do this? owl head i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it so it comes up like this so here will be his head here so i think i'm going to do this i got so many freaking lines on there i just don't know just have fun what you're doing don't care and just try and keep both sides the same and then you know in the end it should look like an owl as long as it's got the big eyes, it's going to look like an owl. Starting to look like a fat owl to me. Like I said, this yellow cedar is a lot harder than what I'm normally used to carving. And here I just did a free for all, just a bunch of cuts quickly. Um, oh boy. Now, I got to draw in the wings. So do I want to draw little tiny wings? Or do I want to draw, draw big wings? I can see that this eye right now is a little bit higher than this eye. So I'm going to correct that before I start the wings. I'm going to curve up under here, bring this up a bit. Who gives a shit? I'm going to... Uh, <sighs> What kind of wings? I'm getting tired. What kind of wings do I get this guy? Okay, so I'll tell you what this is turning out to be. This is turning out to be Jordy. What the fuck were you thinking? Oh, man, this wood is hard wood. So I'm ready to just to make this a friggin' owl wizard and give it a big cloak and some little shoes down there, but... I'm pretty tired. It doesn't happen to me often, but this one's gotten to me. Uh, 
Um, this is a big carving. Hard wood. I think what I'm going to do now, so the wings, who cares? I don't care about proportionate or whatever, right? I do and I don't. The wings go all the way down to the bottom, okay? Who cares about that? But the body is just, the body can't be this big. Unless I make it a spirit, like a, a cloak, like a wizard owl. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut here. And kind of round this off. Under, so I'm going to leave this straight here. I'm going to cut about this deep in there, and I'm going to round it off so it looks like the, owl, the, the owl's body is kind of round. Oh, yeah, I did a bad cut Johnson right there, so I just evened it out on the other side, so I did a bad cut Johnson there on the wing too. I don't really care, but this is, you know, I thought this was going to take me an hour or two, but I'm into this for four hours now. So anyways, I'm going to cut here. I don't even, this guy doesn't even have to have goddamn talons. I'm thinking about putting books down there. <sighs> okay, so it's now 3, 3 um, p.m. I started this at 10 a.m., so I'm into this for five hours. So this is kind of like a TikTok, you know, like um, the Reels thing on Instagram. It's like, how do you say you're tired without saying you're tired? Or how do you show you're tired without saying you're tired? Well, oh, there you go. I'm pretty tired. I ha I'm stopping now. Uh, my saws are so dull. Just stop. Chainsaw carving is dangerous. It's dangerous. So when you're tired, I'm not that tired, but I'm just kind of tired. Oh, it's dangerous. So when you're tired, stop. Who cares, right? Like this is just a silly owl. You can see I got some more shaping to do. I got his fat little belly out there. His wings are huge. He's got the biggest owl wings ever. I'll show you guys no more. I don't know if this is going to be a three-part series now because I got a video of getting this wood yesterday. And I got this video. I'll see how long it's going to be. But I got this kind of squared off to carve books in here. I've never carved books before. And um, I think it's okay. I think it's all right. <clears throat> you know, um, what else can I say? But Beth, Beth the Builder. So this is the first shout out video for you. So that triangle cut on the top, that first cut for the head, is how you make it so your face isn't just a flat face. Because my owls, I'm not saying your face was flat on your owl. It's awesome. I love your owl. Beth has the best owls out there, everybody. Don't forget her channels will be in the description below. She's, she's kind of a wild one. Um, she likes to swear and shit. But, um, yeah, I think... Uh, We'll probably make this, so I'll do another video. That will be the end of this video because I want to show you guys how I do my texturing. Kind of how Ryan showed me, if I remember. we got to detail these eyes. we got to carve the books. we got to put the, the feathers in the wings. And, uh, okay, so what do you guys think? Let me get the camera off the tripod here. You guys think I should paint the books? I think it would be nice to add some color into the books. I can't wait to write what the books are about. You know, books have to have titles. So you see? See, Beth, how the faces kind of slope back a bit? Still got to do lots of detailing in here, here. Push this back more. This guy's going to have big round eyes. I'll probably paint the eyes too. There's the head. I haven't really done much on the back yet, but you see I got the wings there separated. So there's a wing here, a wing here. So this wing tucks underneath this wing. Still got lots more work to do. Look at the size of this guy's wings. That's it, everybody. And uh, so this one's probably going to have to be another video long. Goodbye. Okay,